Halloween just three days away and many families are still planning to trick or treat in tonight's wear the gown. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker finds ways to balance the Halloween safety and fun. We want our kids to have a bit of normalcy this year with the pandemic turning so much of their world upside down, but that normalcy needs to come with responsibility. There's a lot of fun things that uh, families can do on Halloween this year and, and truly every year. Dr. Robert Sanders is the Associate Medical Director of PD Express Urgent Care within the University Health System. He says even if you are wearing a scary or spooky mask, that isn't enough to protect you. We want to wear a regular either cloth mask or surgical mask that you like, for instance, that you would wear to school or out to the grocery store under that scary or silly mask you might be wearing for Halloween. If you are trick or treating, try to stay in a small group like your family or close friends you've been semi quarantining with. Try to stay away from other groups you may encounter along the way. And if you approach a house where there is already another group or family, wait until they leave. Try to keep your group small. Try to avoid getting close to other groups this year, but still going out and having fun, hopefully. But what if you're handing out candy? I wouldn't be bringing people to your door. I think that's the most important thing we want to be thinking about this year. Other ways to hand out candy could be making single serve grab bags and putting them on a table by the curb, making a spooky graveyard with candy on sticks, hanging candy from a tree by clipping it to a piece of string or making a candy shoot. And it's at least six feet long and families are putting uh, candy in one side and dropping it right into the trick or treaters bag on the other side. For alternative Halloween activities for both adults and children, check out this story on Kens5.com. Jeremy Baker, Kens5 Eyewitness News. For more information about family health, call 210-358-3045. You can also find the rest of the Wear the Gown stories. Just go to wearthegown.com.